Hi Aquarius, this is your airy season report. Come in live from Cosmic People. Okay, let's get into it. So boom, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Your first card out is the Empress. The Empress, the Empress. One of my favorite cards um, out of a tarot deck. Um, so um, Aquarius placements, you are feeling very confident. You're feeling very um, abundant, very fruitful. Um, when we get the Empress card, this is someone who is on a very uplifted and positive vibration. Everywhere you go, you leave a little bit of joy. Every Everywhere you go, you leave a little bit of joy. And this is very on brand for Aquarius placements, okay? Um, you know, you guys are very charming. You have a very, um, a very, what am I, a very vibrant per, uh, personality, okay? People who love to be around you. If an Aquarius is in, in the room, you will know, okay? They always, you know, shake up the room. People want to, you know, be around them, communicate with them. It's a beautiful energy. So I'm just getting like, Lots of people want to be in your energy, Aquarius, okay? And that's a beautiful thing. Um, people are people are learning, people are learning more from you than they will admit, okay? And let me um baby, my lips is a little sharp. Hold on one second. People are people are learning more from you than they would like to admit. And it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know, it's okay. They're taking notes. You just live in your life and your gen say quoi. And I don't know if they even go, fuck it. We rolling with it. It just felt like it go. You're just living life in your gen say quoi. And baby, they they got their motherfucking they got their motherfucking notepad. Boop 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 Oh, a quick boop 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 boop. boop, boop. Okay, like Shanae, all right, because you know, at some point, Aquarius is going to get overwhelmed when you drop in their style, okay, and that's when they might boop bop your ass. So, you know, tread lightly, okay, <laughs> tread lightly because one thing an Aquarius doesn't like, they despise, um, is someone who is not an individual because an, an Aquarius is very much so I am an individual I am an individual hear me roar they pride themselves on being individual and you know that takes a lot of gusto a lot of strength a lot of bravado right so know that you have a lot of strength that a lot of people um wish they could embody and they could they just just do the work just step out there, do the work, okay? Um, but yeah, I yeah, mm. a lot, yeah. This airy season, I feel like it's gonna be um shown to you people who would who are really taking notes and they're not and they're not um they're not um they're not uh what am I trying to say? I feel like during this airy season, or oh, fuck it, maybe during this year, it'll be highlighted to you who's not paying homage, okay? It's like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Kalamazoo to film this project, do this, do that, and all of a sudden, this person is going to Tanzania. Was that always on your bucket list? Pardon me. Was that always on your bucket list? Because I don't think, I don't think that was on your bucket list. But okay, it's cool. Do your thing. You, you're not going to do it like me. Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> Pardon fucking me. That was not on your bucket list. <laughs> so um, Aquarius, they always say that imitation is the highest form of flattery, I would say that's in doses. Because if you have someone who's doing literally everything that you do, that's that's quite annoying, 
it's quite annoying. Okay, you might have had this one idea and you kind of mirrored me. Okay, cool. It's space for all of us to eat. But if you're doing everything that I say I'm doing, first of all, baby, it's not a competition. And stop. Just stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. So, um, yeah. That's, um... That's that's that that might be a, a that might be that might be a thing for my Aquarius placements. You guys know that you're vis, uh, very much so visionaries. You break the mold. If if somebody is copying you, hold your shit down and do some more groundbreaking shit. Okay, do some more groundbreaking shit. Period. Okay, and so let's get into the daughter of Swords. That's your first outside influence. Um. So, um, as you're navigating, um, as you're navigating, I feel like you're going to, it's being called for my Aquarius placements to lean into that feminine energy of, um, being very clear on what it is that you want, but also having that flexibility, that receptiveness to receive things and not control where somebody's giving love, I'm receiving it. I'm not saying like, oh, it has to be fixed like this, sitting like this, doing like, no, 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 no. I'm just going to accept it. I'm going to be open to receiving, um, being flexible, um, also being grounded because we know that Aquarius is an air sign being grounded with, uh, what's going on. Okay. Um, so it could be also calling for you to develop a new grounding practice. So um, maybe walking on grass, hugging a tree, um, whatever, you know, whatever grounding practice that you find works uh, best for you. Um, also, what I said to other people, sometimes um, meditation, you might want to par partner meditation with screaming, okay? Screaming can feel really good. Um, you can even go to an axe, the axe throwing, um, thing. I know they have that. Um, also, um, there's a, uh, what's that thing called? There's a, um, there's something where you can go and break things. Okay. So after you do, after you do your little namaste, you might need to go break up some shit at that little exhibit where you can, uh, break shit. Okay, because I know that feels very relaxing, very relieving because, you know, sometimes you might, Aquarius, you might want to go upside somebody's head. You can go to the little thing where you break stuff. I don't know what it's called, but, you know, do your Googles. You can go there. Um, and then your second outside influence, Aquarius, is the Ten of Swords. So you're closing up or recently closed up a cycle. Now... I think, I think that cycle, ooh, I think one of those cycles, it could have been several, one of those cycles was playing small. I feel like a lot of my Aquariuses were um, playing small. They weren't putting themselves out there. I feel like you closed this cycle out. You are putting yourself out there. Um, you're closing a cycle when it comes to how you... Um, certain boundaries that you have with others, how you communicate to others, right? Because at the end of the day, when we elicit a fiery and, you know, just raw, you know, people will take that as you care. And we don't want people going around here thinking that you care. First of all, Aquarius really don't give a fuck okay so we don't we don't want you going around having people thinking that you care more than you do be just because you elicit a fiery response find um find a way to communicate with you know you know what you're trying to say without giving them all that energy because at the end of the day aquarius you got some energy of vampires around you and they're sucking off your energy and you wondering why, you know, you need eight to 10 hours of sleep. These people are draining you. They're going to your profile. They're looking at your picture. 
They looking at what whatever you are a part of. People can tap into your energy just by looking at you on social media. So um, it's very imperative for um, anybody that's on social media to do protection work um, around themselves, shield yourself, right? Set intentions for your day because it's energy vampires. And they just, they, they want, they want, they just want more and more and more and more, more and more and more and more and more and more. more, Okay. So, um, yes, that's that. And then the underlying energy or what you're not aware of, you are in a place where you are refining yourself. You are repolishing yourself. You are doing like your restrict, all the re's. So like re-strategizing, reassessing, um, you're reassessing what it is that you want to carry into this airy season, this spring new year. If you have not done it, this can be a time where you do it. Um, determine what it is that you want to carry into this spring new year. And those are the messages for Aquarius. If that message resonated, my information is down below to put some money in my piggy bank. Thank you.